Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room Channel. I'm going to demonstrate how to make this round table topper. Now you don't necessarily need to have a round table. I often put these on my large rectangular table just to be in the center. So this is made with a ruffle. You can make it with or without the ruffle. I've also got these little heart shape appliques and they're not stitched on that yet. I'm just putting them there so you can see what else you can do with this table topper. So you can see how the little hearts just add even more personality. Now all the supplies are listed below your YouTube screen in the description section. Okay, let's get started. I'm now going to demonstrate how to fold your fabric, layer it, and how to cut it into a circle. So here is my fabric for the back. You can use anything you want on the back. It can be a plain color or some fabric you just don't care about anymore. So you want to leave it folded with your selvage edges together. So here's the selvage edges down here. Here are my raw edges at each end. Take the two raw edges and bring them together. And get your folded edge lined up here at the top and take your time. Make sure everything is smooth. You don't want any bumps in it. Then you're going to take your fabric for the top of the round uh, topper and you're going to do the same thing. Have it folded with the selvage edges together. Fold it in half and then place it on top and line up your folded edges very carefully. Take your time and make sure everything is smooth. Now if your raw edges are jagged that's not a problem. Just make sure your folded edges are together. For this next step you're either going to need a ruler or a tape measure. So you want to take that whatever you're using and put one end of it up here. And you're going to go down 18 inches. Well, this just happens to be an 18 inch ruler. Makes it really easy for me. So to make this 36 inch uh, topper, you need to go down 18 inches this way. So then take either a fabric marker or just even a pencil and just put a little mark there and then move the ruler a little bit, making sure that the top of your ruler is still up at the point here in the corner. Put another little mark and you're going to keep doing that marking and you're going to go all the way around up to this other edge up here at the top. So now you've got a quarter circle. Now you want to take some weight, something heavy to lay here. You could pin it but I like using things like this because it just makes it really easy for me. And then take your rotary cutter or scissors, whatever you want to do, and cut right on those marks. This is my fabric for the top and this is the pretty side right here. So I'm going to put the pretty side facing down and I'm going to take my interfacing and I'm using a medium weight interfacing that's fusible. So on one side it's kind of rough feeling. That's where the glue is. So you want to put the glue side down. Now because uh, there isn't any interfacing that's wide enough for me uh, or for this project, I cut a second piece and I'm going to just lay it right next to it. Now you can either go ahead and cut around it now or you can go ahead and fuse it on and then cut the excess off. Follow package instructions for fusing. It's a very easy process. Here's how you would cut out your strips of fabric for your ruffle. So here's the folded edge of your fabric and here are your selvages. So your fabric is folded like it was when you purchase it off the bolt. Then you want to cut this edge straight and then you're going to cut 
two and a half inch wide strips. Now if you want a real narrow ruffle, you could cut them two inches if you like. I'm cutting mine two and a half. And you'll need anywhere from four to five strips. So every time you cut, you move over, you move your ruler over and cut, don't move your fabric. Move the ruler over again and cut and keep doing that till you have all of your strips cut out. I'm going to refer you to my tutorial on how, how to easily make a ruffle, but I'm going to sort of summarize what you would learn in that tutorial. I took all of the strips that I cut out and then I cut the selvage ends off. Then I took the ends and brought them together and you can use a sewing machine or a serger. I used a serger and serged my ends together or you can use your sewing machine and use an overcast stitch on your machine. If you have a computerized sewing machine and even many mechanical machines have an overcast stitch. So you would do that. Then you would take the ruffle. Here's my hem in the ruffle. You could either serge the edge, which I did, or go to the ironing board, fold your edges over once a quarter of an inch and press. Then fold it again a quarter of an inch and press. Then you would just stitch it down right along here. If you're using a serger, you only need to fold it over once and then stitch it down. In that tutorial, I'll also give you a variety of suggestions on how to get it to gather it up. You can do it by hand, you can do it by sewing machine, or you can even do a gathering stitch on your serger. So then you would go ahead and do your ruffling stitches all the way down. Have the pretty side of your fabric for the top facing up. It's also called right side or front side pretty side. Then take your ruffle and have the pretty side facing down against the uh, round table topper. Then go ahead and take pins and pin it all the way around the edge. You'll notice that the ruffle is facing in towards the center. So you're putting the raw edge of the ruffle against the raw edge of your fabric for the top. Once you've come back to where you started, then bring your ends together, cut them to fit, but leave enough for a seam allowance, and go ahead and stitch the two together and then finish pinning it down. Then do a basting stitch, oh, about an eighth of an inch from the edge all the way around to hold it in place. I did a machine basting stitch to hold my ruffle down. And now I'm going to place the fabric that's going to go on the back side of your table topper. And this is the pretty side. So you're going to put the pretty side on top of the ruffle. So place it down and line it up around all of the edges. Then place pins around all of the edge, all the way around. And I've got two pins over here, and this is my opening. I want to leave a large opening so that I can reach in later and turn it front side out. So start over here and do a back stitch. Then stitch a quarter of an inch seam all the way around. And then when you come back to where the two pins are, you're going to stop stitching and then do a little bit of a back stitch. After stitching, you want to go in and do little clips from the raw edge towards your stitch line. And so you're going to go in like this. Now be careful you do not cut through your stitches. And you want to do this all the way around. Maybe every inch, three quarters of an inch, do a little slit. And this is going to help your edges to lay down better so things don't curl up. Where the opening is, right here. It's not stitched closed yet. So you want to do a little bit shorter clips because if you go in too far, it's going to be hard to close this opening up. After you've done all that, then reach inside your opening and begin to pull it front side out. 
fold your edges inside at the opening and place quite a few pins there to hold it down because you are working on a curve so you would need a few more pins. Then you're going to flip it over to the front side. Do this next step at your ironing board. You're going to press your seam edge right here and as you're pressing pull on the ruffle so that everything is uh, fabric is even on the back and it's all placed correctly. After you're done pressing, then you want to go and stitch about an eighth of an inch from the edge all the way around and that will also close up that little opening that's on the back. Isn't this pretty? I just absolutely love this butterfly fabric. It really does look like springtime. I would like to show you one more thing you could do to this round table topper, and that is to add some appliques. And this is what an applique is. It is a little, this is a heart shape applique. It can be any shape you want. It could be for a special holiday or just something whimsical that you created yourself. So I'm going to lay these out and show you a suggested pattern for laying them out. So by placing the hearts around the edge, it looks like you've done a really nice border. These hearts are really simple to make. And I'm going to refer you to one of my old tips of the week in which I showed you how to make this really easy little heart and it's very quick to stitch on. I always keep a white vase on hand because it'll go with any table topper or table runner that I use. I also like to make fabric bows to go with it. There is a little bit of yellow in this table topper and that's why I chose this particular fabric, this a yellow check fabric. I love yellow checks. If you're interested in learning how to make a fabric bow, I do have a tutorial on that. So make sure you check below your YouTube screen for all the video links I've talked about in here. You go down to the description section, hit the down arrow to expand it open, and then you will see a lot of links. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny, and this is Scotty. See you next time.